Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso on S3. Now, every student and parent knows that endurance is the combination of understanding and an extra boost of mental, emotional, and physical energy to keep going during the hustle and bustle of test season. Now, we gave you the chance to ask experts a few tips and tricks that can be applied during a test or an exam, and we have the panel of experts here to join us this morning. We have senior phase educator Zeta Johnson joining us, as well as educational psychologist Dr. Sharon Aiken. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, there are some burning questions <laughs> we've asked the youth to ask us. Zaida, I'm so sorry, but yes, we are so excited that you are also joining us. Thank you. Um, we have some questions that came through from the students themselves, and we want to ask your expert opinions on how to do that. So I think the first thing that always comes through is students panic when it comes to exams, they get overwhelmed mm. by the process of examination. Zaida, perhaps you can start off with What advice would you give your students or any student that's about to embark on a big exam? You know, I think the, the best advice we can give somebody is to just study. You have to study before the time. But you know, in the exam setting, you do have feelings of nervousness. You're overwhelmed mm. at times with, with nervousness and there are some things that you can do. And uh, for, for the student who feels that anxiety, it would be best for them to just calm themselves down. Mm. How you do that, that's the way you have to find out. So I would say that you need to just take some deep breaths, you know, from the core, up, blow it out, all that anxiety. And then you can also just visualize and find yourself in a happy space for a minute. And then once you've calmed down, read the test paper and you'll see that you're familiar with the content. Approach the questions from what you know best. Answer that and you will see that your confidence will be gained. And voila, get started. Yes, get started because you've done all the work. You've you done all the work. What you've it prepared is. for whatever you need to, to read and study about. So, yeah. Definitely. Now, Dr. Sharon, a lot of young individuals they put pressure on themselves to perform and get that result. And then there's the snowball effect. How can we stop putting that pressure on ourselves? What I like to tell my clients is that an exam is just the culmination of the whole year. So you've, you've actually processed the work, but you need to calm down and you need to approach it almost like a game. An exam is in fact just a game. Mm. And if you go through the paper and you strategize and you see, okay, I don't understand this question so well, but I understand this one very well, do a quick mental calculation of how many marks is this question actually worth? Do I lose it? Um, do I know so little that I need to ditch this question and focus on getting 100% correct of this question? Just those kinds of thought processes alone can actually decrease your anxiety as well. I mean, you've covered the other ones beautifully. Mm. Yeah. But um, just to just approach it like a game because it takes a lot of the pressure off to think a strategy game if you are going to leave questions till later, though, this is the old teacher in me coming up. Please remember to number your questions very clearly. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so, so the question doesn't get lost. Mm. But other than that, it is weighing up. Which question do I know the best? Answer it and leave the ones that you really don't know because you're wasting time on them. And that's, that's going to boost your confidence. If you get through the questions <coughs> that you, you know and you know you're confidently mm. going to earn those marks, so what we have done, Zeta and Dr. Sharon, is we have questions from social media. So let's take a look at the first one that came through. We have student number one saying, I get nervous when it comes to Afrikaans comprehension, comprehension as it's not my first language. What is the best way to successfully answer comprehensions? What are your thoughts? Um, a comprehension in any language, it forms the basis of any language paper. So whether you're going to do it in English or Afrikaans, there's a process involved in answering a comprehension and to make life easier for yourself. So first of all, I would say that doing reading and reading and reading more, that is what you have to start off with prior to the exam in the language that you're going to write. And then, of course, there's a process for, for comprehensions. You activate your, you first look at the topic. The topic is the most important thing. 
and you predict what the thing is going to be about. And you know, because we have so many visual learners, you know, accessing social media, mm -hmm. you do a little visual walk, you picture what the topic is going to be about, and that gives you a background to what you think you're going to read, what you think, because you haven't read yet, mm -hmm. right? Um, for, to, to make it a little bit easier, you underline, okay, I'm going to use language things now, okay? So you underline the opening sentence of each paragraph, and just a little clue to those people, those underlining those opening sentences helps you with a multiple choice. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, most of the time they ask the multiple choice from the opening sentence. Following that, you're going to just remember that there's a, you know, your interrogative pronouns, ask yourself, decode the paper, ask yourself, analyze, do some, some analyzing there, ask yourself why, what, when about the paper, how and which, go through. Okay, once you've done that, you'll see that it's easy for you to, to understand. But for the learner, especially for Afrikaans, just for her to engage in the language a little bit, she should just ask her friends to WhatsApp in Afrikaans. They're in the same class. Yeah. WhatsApp, WhatsApp each other in Afrikaans. Speak Afrikaans during your intervals so that you can get used to the language. And then obviously read every single night in the language of which you're going to have the test in. Oh, thank you. Thank, I feel like saying thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. That, that was incredible. <laughs> we have another question that came through on social media, and this is what the student said. I get very stressed out when writing tests and exams. What are the things I can do when I feel overwhelmed during the exam? What advice would you give? Well, I feel like... Mm. Uh, Zaida, you answered that in the beginning, mm. but Dr. Sharon, how, how would you encourage this young individual to stay calm during the exam? So you, the person really needs to watch to how their anxiety is spiraling and try and catch it as soon as possible with the deep breathing exercises mm -hmm. that Zaida raised earlier. Breathing in slowly, breathing in, out slowly, just find a, a happy thought or a happy space that you can put your head into. One thing that used to work really well for me, because I've sworn I'm never writing another exam in my life, <laughs> <laughs> is to actually... Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> if you're allowed to, to get up quietly, go to the bathroom, mm. splash some cold water on your face, just stay there for about 30 seconds if need be, calm yourself down, come back, sit down, and start again. Start with the easier questions and then progress to the more difficult questions. Um, and I think above all, remember that there are very few exams that are irrevocable mm. in the sense that if you haven't done well, that it's the end of the world. It's, nev we are, it's never yeah. the end of the world. Yes. Never. It can always be fixed. You There's can always a re rewrite. Exam. There's always a rewrite. So it's really, really not worth getting that stressed about. Um, it will soon be over and then you can assess and move on from there. Well, to the both of you, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for putting our students' minds at ease. It is a big season coming up with wow. final exams mm. for each of the different mm. grades. So if you are embarking on various tests, just remember that all of the techniques you learn today, it will help you in future tomorrow. And you also can own your future now by finishing strong with BioPlus.